Y'all know what the deal is. Y'all already know who I am. No need to explain. Njala season five is finally here. And it's really, really good. This video is gonna be a little bit different. As in, just gonna be me, the patch notes, and just straight to the point. Just complete straight to the point. Beginning stuff, you could probably read this stuff on, on the thing, but we already know what, why everyone's here. For the buff senders, Popeye, Cerberus. Do you see weapons are really good? Use them. They got attack buffs and the special got buffed. Straight to the point, because they got buffed and they're really good. Next, scrap skip, scrap saber chewing me. These weapons can finally combo. Normal attack and back attack can chain easier into each other. Basically. Kunai. Basically, Kunai has been made uh, faster and it has more range. Or basically for the entirety of it. Gum Ghost. Got a small nerf to the cooldown and then the homing distance, which is understandable and whatnot. Sunburst got a surprise change, in my opinion. The cost has been reduced by two points on the main card. Used to be 12, now it's 10. The massive nerf, the nerf everybody wanted. Who's the semi master? As you can see here, I'm just gonna highlight these. Yeah, cooldown, reduce the time of the gun bind, and slightly extend the time between pressing the button and Usasimi appearing. So no longer can people spam Usasimi without any risk. So now, once you use Usasimi, you have to wait. You have to wait eight seconds between each Usasimi use which is a pretty long time. But Usasimi, you can still use it in a combo, which is, I guess, okay for it. Cause once you already hit, you already hit stun, so you can't block it anyways. So yeah, so you can still use it in a combo and get a reliable gun buying, but using it like in, in neutral and around drone spamming it is no longer a thing, which is really, really good. Ninjasense Pro, cost reduction, two edge parry. They basically just buff the card overall, the amount of damage it can do. Well, it does when you clash. So I guess two edge parry might be worth using now. Gun Guard Master got a big buff. It's become very cost effective and the for assist code uh, one and two. And it says codes one and two. The effects of them has been buffed as well. It's been increased as well. So if you haven't used Gumgar Master, I would recommend start using it now. Hyena. Hyena got a a pretty reasonable nerf. Basically, it's only to the main card. Now, stealing Hyena will activate only when the foe is under half health so when they're under under 50 percent life that's when the card will activate it used, it used to be 70 percent automatic life recovery after you take damage uh you start to recover health sooner which is a really 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 good buff to the game in general and it is an indirect buff to master of change because the second assist code gives you back more health, uh, more health quicker. So if you can start regenerating that faster, then that's a great indirect buff. Behavior when gum guard is destroyed. It's basically the super. This this is dealing with the super armor. It says when your gum weapon is destroyed while super armor is active, the super armor will be canceled, which is good. Even though I haven't seen too many situations where. A person's running around with super armor without a weapon. Yeah. And then it says you can now perform a combo when using skate hammer and sushi axis axe power buster against an opponent using super armor. So basically, if you hit the super armor 
if you hit the opponent that has the super armor passive with power buster it just cancels it because the weapon get broke so it's pretty good and then being blown away uh, uh i guess i gotta see what this actually is but whatever the time during players are mobilized after being blown away has been extended i gotta see this for myself i'm not entirely sure but yeah that's basically the patch notes everyone cared about and whatnot so my thoughts my only thoughts are this we said semi master is no longer abusable and annoying and season five for ninjala is off to a fantastic start i will see you all in the next video covering the new weapons